Hi folks, I'm Steve Goodgame, K5ATA. I'm the Education and Learning Manager at ARRL, the National Association for Amateur Radio. And today I want to talk to you about how to get amateur radio into your local schools, whether it be part of their curriculum or as a club activity. Often, the main barrier is getting past the front door. A lot of times you have a teacher or maybe some students who are interested in amateur radio, but the principal is the one that's keeping you from becoming a part of that school. So what we've done is we've created a series of handouts and flyers to help you get past the front door. The first handout we've created is this one. This is for you, the ham talking to the principal, to make sure you don't miss any of these important points. One of the first things you want to do is point out the scholarships because you're going to want to make sure that the principal knows it's worth his or her time to talk to you about amateur radio. In 2021, the ARRL Foundation gave away $650,000 roughly in college scholarships. In 2022, we're expected to give away almost $900,000 in college scholarships. This is scholarship money that is only available to licensed amateur radio operators. If a school doesn't have amateur radio operators, none of those kids are eligible for these scholarships. One of the things I like to encourage hams to do when talking to the principal is to take these with them. I've already highlighted all of the dollar amounts on these. What you need to do is go through and highlight any scholarships that are in the state that you're dealing with. If there's anybody who got a scholarship in that school or in that school district, highlight those as well. Sometimes you won't have anybody in the entire state who's gotten an ARRL scholarship, and that's fine too. Go through the list and point out some of the people that have or maybe have not gotten scholarships and encourage the principal that the only way to get some of those scholarship dollars coming to kids in his or her school is to include amateur radio in their instruction or in their clubs. The next thing the principal is going to want to know is what about teacher training? Every year, ARRL offers several sessions of the Teachers Institute on Wireless Technology. This is an expense paid training where we provide room, board, airfare, tools, and equipment to help teachers implement this program into their schools. These are held at ARRL headquarters in Newington, Connecticut, or at DARA headquarters in Dayton, Ohio. We also provide rack cards. These are for you to leave several with the principal to give to teachers who may be interested. Another thing we provide is flyers. We send several of these for teachers and principals to put up around the school to help generate interest. These are bright, colorful, and eye-catching. And a lot of times, this is all it takes to get people asking questions about, hey, how can we do this in our school? It's important to point out if a school has a STEM program, a STEAM program, or a makerspace, oftentimes this is the perfect place to plug in amateur radio. Amateur radio also helps students get exposed to a lot of other career options that they may not have been aware of before. Electrical engineering, electronics, and careers of the sort are all high-paying jobs, and amateur radio provides the basic training needed to take an interest and to get started in those career fields. Last but not least, the principal is going to want to know, what is this going to cost me? How much is it going to cost for me to get all this equipment into the school? Well, as we've already pointed out, the training is essentially free. The equipment that the teacher leaves from the Teachers Institute is, is free. So the ARRL Education Technology Program has a couple of grant options to help put these radios and stations and equipment into schools. The first is a $1,500 station grant. This is where you can get your, your first radio, your first antenna set up, and some of the basic equipment you need. Then from then on, you can apply for $500 station progress grants. And those are just the grants that are available through the Education and Learning Department at ARRL. There are other grant opportunities that we'll tell teachers about during the Teachers Institute. One thing to remember is that getting amateur radio into schools depends on you, the amateur radio operator. We, we at ARRL can send you all of the paperwork, we can send you the flyers, but it takes you to go into a school, have that sit down with the principal, go discuss it with a school board member, whoever it is that you can talk about amateur radio to, and provide them with this information. The biggest problem we have getting amateur radio into schools and getting youth engaged in the hobby is simply the fact that they're not aware that it's there. So it takes you, the ham, to get into those schools and help make those people aware. If you're interested in joining me on this mission to get amateur radio into schools, 
click the link in the description below. That's going to take you to a form on our website. Complete that form and we'll send these flyers to you as soon as we can. So if you have any questions, give me a call at headquarters or you can drop me an email, k5ata at awrl.org. You can also visit our website for more information. And again, thank you, 7-3.